Welcome to Full Course Online. In today's video, I will show you how to set up and use Microsoft Family Safety. We will create a child account, connect devices, apply screen time limits, filter websites, and even block apps. By the end of this video, you will be able to fully control and monitor your child's activity on Windows and mobile devices. To use Microsoft Family Safety, you must be logged into your computer with a Microsoft account. Click on the Start menu and then click on your profile picture. Here you can see that I am already using a Microsoft account. Another way to check is by going to Settings and then Accounts. Your Microsoft ID will appear here. Remember, you must be the administrator of your computer to configure family safety. To monitor your child's PC, open the family section in accounts. Click on add someone. If your child already has a Microsoft account, enter it here. If not, you can create one by selecting create one for a child. Enter the desired name and if it's available, Click Next. Create a password. Enter the first name and last name. Choose your country and provide the birth date. Solve the puzzle to continue. The child's Microsoft ID is now created. This account must not be an administrator. Go to Change Account Type and confirm it is set as a standard user. Click on Open Family Settings. You will now see the child account added, but the device is not yet connected. For that, the child must log in on their own PC or mobile device. Now let's log in with the child account. On the child's computer, open the Start menu and click on the profile icon. Select the child account. You can confirm it again by going to Settings and then Accounts. The device is now connected to the Family Safety System. You can also manage Family Safety from your phone. On your mobile device, go to the Play Store and search for Microsoft Family Safety. Install it and then open the app. Log in with your parent account. Allow the necessary permissions. You will see your kids' accounts listed on the first screen. Let's open my child's account, named Mary. Tap on Windows to apply time limits on the child's computer. Right now the daily limit is set to 15 hours. Let's change Sunday to 1 hour 15 minutes. And change Monday to 45 minutes. The new limits are applied immediately. You can also lock the child's computer remotely. Tap on lock device and the computer will be locked instantly. Now it requires parent permission to be used again. Back on the parent's computer, open Settings, then Accounts, and then Family. Here you can see the child's device is connected. Click on the child profile. Turn on Activity Reporting to track computer usage. You can see the child has already used the computer for a few minutes. Now click on Edge. Toggle on Filter Inappropriate Sites and Searches. Enable Only Use Allowed Websites. Allow Educational Websites if you want. You can also block or allow specific websites. Now let's test it on the child's PC. Open Edge and you will see that MSN, 
which was the home page, is blocked. The child can click Ask Now to request access. Typing Google.com is also blocked. The child sends a request. The parent receives a notification on the phone. If the parent approves, the site will open. If the child tries to visit inappropriate websites, they remain blocked unless approved. You can also restrict access to apps and games. On the Parents Family Safety Dashboard, go to the Child Profile. Open Apps and Games Limits. Block Microsoft Store and Paint for example. You can also set time limits for apps. Let's limit edge usage for a short time. On the child's PC, open Microsoft Store. Access is denied. The child can send a request for permission. The parent receives a notification on the phone. If the parent approves, the Microsoft Store opens. And that's it. We have successfully set up Microsoft Family Safety. We created a child account, connected devices, applied time limits, locked the device, turned on activity reporting, added web filters, and restricted applications. Now you can ensure your child's computer and online activity are safe and under your control. If you also want to control your child's activity on Google Chrome, or if you want to set up parental controls for YouTube Kids, then make sure to watch the other videos in this same playlist. They will guide you step by step through the setup. Thank you for watching Full Course Online. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more practical tutorials.